Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Space Crew. All right, guys. So today we're going after Vorb Kib. We're gonna get him eliminated, and I wanted to test out that new cruiser ability, and I think he will be the perfect one to test it on. So let's go ahead and go after Mr. Vorb Kib. Go ahead and launch. Alright, let's fast forward over there. So you go ahead and get on that front gunner spot. Charge that up. And engage. Alright, let's go ahead and go into defensive. fires a lot faster than I thought it was and it looks accurate. That looks like it's nailing. Uh, yeah, I think... I think that railgun's tearing him up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's like a couple shots and they're gone. Oh, that railgun is so nice. That is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. I should have went with the railgun a long time ago. I think that's my new favorite weapon right there. I'd even replace the missiles on the front with it. Let's head that way. Why, why are they always like in Neptune and stuff? That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> Boom. 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 Aw. Aw's one boom off. Yeah, that railgun is like a great equalizer out there. Yeah, there is a good chance I'm going to put a railgun on the front of this and do away with that rocket. That is just so nice. So, so nice. So let me let me turn the ship and let them have some rail again. I almost want to put four rail guns on here. Almost. Alright, let's see if we can't ruin Mr. Vorb Kibbs day. Let's go ahead and go on the attack. There he is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and call in the regular fighter support. I'm gonna hit the performance analysis. I'm going to call in the cruiser support. 
teleport now. We're going to defensive. Is that the cruiser up there? Switch weapons. Switch weapons. Why are you? What's the captain over here? You better find your gun. I guess that's the cruiser. Yes, that's the cruiser. It's another ship my size. Yes, okay. That's kind of cool. It had the little beam weapon on it. I don't know if I really care much for the beam weapon. But, you know, another, another cruiser, another ship my size coming into the battle. That really wasn't all that much of a battle. That was kind of just me playing around with stuff at that point. So, yeah, that worked out pretty well, I think. All right, let's go ahead and charge up. Oh, what do we got here? We got a scannable. Well, good thing is, Warp Kib is now eliminated. Which means another Phasmid Champ down. Okay, we need to scan. We've got it. Uh, where are we going? No, that's Neptune. Where is... There it is right there. You go repair that. Yeah, I like that having that extra extra support. All right, guys, y'all feel free to like just open up all the tear them up. Devastate them a little bit. Go ahead and switch back to your other weapons too. Boost. Boost our shield. Boost our weapons. Now what broke? Come on, kill that little dude. Alright. 
Engage. All right. Another successful mission. Orb Kib defeated. Plasma Tech. Let's see what we got this time. Okay. Oh, we got new goodies. Oh, we got a lot of new goodies. Let's see what kind of new goodies we've got. Environment Mask 3, a heavy full face environment mask which provides a good protection against radiation. It contains a large personal oxygen supply and light armoring. So technically if we were to wear these, we would have extra oxygen, we would have some armor, and we would have uh, radiation protection which that would be kind of cool. Let's see, personal cloak. When equipped with a personal cloak, crew members will be less easily spotted by enemies on board the ship. Okay. And then we've got standard plating MK4. Significantly improved additional armor plating. That sounds like a key thing. Medical Bay MK3, further improved Medical Bay. It's got a great capacity and a good healing speed. I haven't really had to use my Medical Bay all that much since we've upgraded it, though. Uh, oxygen Generator MK3, high-quality Oxygen Generator. It's well-armored and much less likely to break down. That's nice. Fast Charge Shields, an improved Fast Charge or Fast Shield Recharger. Shield Strength is average, but it is very quick to regen. Eh. Auto Cannon Plus Particle Beam MK1, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, so that's not... No, 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 no. no. Let's go see what these helmets offer, because we just put everybody in these heavier helmets. So let me see what kind of armor trade-out we have here. Let me go to Custom Layout. All right, so we've got 20 armor with this helmet. The full face goes to 10 armor. You know, that's not that bad, honestly. That's the exact same armor as, as on that one. But yet we get radiation protection and an O2 supply. Uh, I think everybody gets one of these. So, I mean, short of this one, yeah, that one's just a... Uh, I think everybody needs one of these that way if we do have a radiation leak for whatever reason we do have some protection and they are good so I'm gonna go with that I think that would be the best thing here all right what else do we got here what is this this is a revive tool this is the personal cloak um You know what, I think I'm going to give the captain the revive tool. Just just because, why not? Alright, let's go into the space crew stuff. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did I actually give the captain that tool, or did I just... No, he has it. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I actually bought it for him. Alright, armor plating. Wow, it goes up even higher. Nice. How much of an increase? That's five. That's seven fifty on an increase on that. Yeah, that's gonna take a beating. That is most definitely gonna take a beating. I'm liking it. 
liking it, liking it, liking it. Alright, the shields. I don't think I really need the shields changed. The oxygen generator, we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. We're going to go ahead and get that bad boy. And I think I'm going to put a railgun in the front. I'm kind of liking how that railgun works, so I think... I think the railgun's what I want. Maybe I want that railgun. <laughs> Give me that one right there. That's what I want. Alright, so we've got that done. Ship is looking good. Okay, we're all good there. We've got 30 missions completed. Lost 6 crew. 75,000 credits earned. 22,475 research gained, one ship lost, 140 jumps completed, 1,015 enemy ships destroyed, and 34 enemy boarders killed. So yeah, we went, we went and we did some stuff on that one, guys. We most certainly got some stuff done. Let's see what kind of missions we got right now. Okay, so we've got the low ones. These aren't really anything I really need because I mean, look, zero research, zero research, zero research, zero research. Wow, they do not want to give me any research, do they? They're like, nope. They're like, you want to do something? You do this mission right here. A phasmid mothership, huh? What about the bounties real fast? Uh, we've got two bounties. Oh, we got... Okay, let's see what this one is. Anga Haki. That's the one that attacked us last time. She's pretty high threat. And then we've got... I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm just going to call them Tuxum. Tuxum here. Pilots of Modified Mine Layer. Uh-oh. Which, while still as slow and clumsy as a standard mine layer, appears to have been strengthened somewhat... Our scans indicate that Phasmid Mine Layer pilots are often physically weaker and have a higher body fat percentage than fighter pilots. Tuxum appears to be no exception. So he's a fat alien? I'm so confused here, guys. I am so confused. We got a fat alien. Alright, so it seems like we can go, like, hold on, hold on, go back to that map here. Y'all changing stuff on me too quick. Uh, why is there two different, I mean, we're here, right? So is that over and up? That might be over and up. Alright, well, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and start the mission. Hopefully we can get this done. Go ahead and launch. We've got two railguns. We've got improved armor. We took out all these champions. I mean, we've got a pretty impressive uh, starting thing right now. Do I want to go the fast route or the safe route? Let's go the fast route. Let's be dangerous with it. We're going after the mothership after all. Of course. I've never really had to... Uh, deal with all these guys on the on the fastest route here in a while so yeah that's that's the thing we'll see we'll see what happens all right let's go ahead and warp out warning increased alien activity Get up there. There we go. Throw out some railgun hate there, guys. Throw out some railgun hate. Go ahead and get a little focus fire on them, too. Wore our shields out. It's alright though, we're hitting them back. Those railguns don't play, you just 
roll up on my rail gun and see what happens. Don't let him get there. Hit him. Yeah. Alright, the focus fire on again. behind me with that rail gun there, isn't it? I don't think they like that rear rail gun. Of course, they probably don't like that front rail gun either. Uh-huh. Feel Earth attack. Back there, you see how long oh, you got borders trying to come in. Yeah, you're not gonna get on my ship. Not with that gun back there. Oh no. See what happens. This should be the battle, guys. This should be the battle already. Oh, what is all that? Oh, yeah? Uh, I think I'm going to have to get some uh, fighter back up in here. Go ahead and bring in the cruiser too. Do our focus fire. Hurry up, go there and fix that. 
Okay, we've got two out of six of those generators done. Oh, that's a big ship. <laughs> that's a much bigger ship than the top runner. Uh, we're gonna need a bigger ship here, guys. Okay, so we've got our fighter, we've got our other cruiser. See, that's cool though, because we got a fighter squad and an additional cruiser with us, so we're not gonna be in my We can be by no means. What was that? Oh, that's a big old gun getting ready to shoot at me. Yeah, that kind of hurt a little bit. Well, let's get above the ship so those things can't shoot. or the alien invasion. Go ahead and scan that. Scan it. Not scan it, but scan it. Okay, now we can return to the base. Let's get out of here. You know, if it was me, I would have put like little floating alien bodies out here everywhere. But that's just me. Awesome, 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 awesome. That wasn't a hard fight, honestly. That was, I mean, it took me a second to realize we had to navigate around the ship, but once we did so, it was pretty easy. Go ahead and charge it on up, and let's get out of here. <laughs> Incoming enemies. That's funny. Their mothership is done. All they're doing is adding fuel to the fire. Oh, 
Yeah, I figured some more were gonna show up. What is this? Uh, the Astro Belt jumps to the jump three. And we've not got all kinds of people out here, huh? Alright, go to the pit, don't just sit there. Okay, let's go on attack. Our focus fire is not ready yet. Well, let's go ahead and call in fighter support and we'll call in cruiser support. Why not? This is our last jump anyway, so we might as well call in backup. And let's go ahead and do a boost. Boost the shield, boost the weapons. There we go. And we're still on the performance analysis. I know it's rebuilding, so no, we're not. That's all right, though. got going now. No, oh, our boosts. It's only like gravity anyway, so we can we can hold out for a minute on that. See they're trying to hit us with that stuff that has that radiation on there. Okay, I don't know what that is, but we need to, like, get it fixed. No, he ain't gonna do anything to it. Okay. But this is the exact reason why we have those helmets. Yeah, because they're not... There we go. So yeah, it wears off over time. So that's good. So yeah, having everyone with a radiation protection on their helmets is probably the best idea. Just kind of an all-around suit that gives a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And there we go. Oh, yeah. See how much experience we get. EMP, weapon backup, weapon backup. Yeah, okay. Yep, I already know. We got a bunch of stuff. Radiation suit, powered boots. Uh, these powered boots provide a good amount of additional mobility to the wearer as well as some protection. Uh, missile Launcher MK2, a missile pod that launches salvos of guided missiles 
each carrying an explosive warhead, effective at dislodging armor plating, less effective against energy shields, can operate without reactor power. Uh, gravity generator MK3, high quality gravity generator. It will, it's well armored and much less likely to break down. We'll probably get that. And then we have the low emission engine MK2, an improved low performance engine designed for safety it allows decent evasiveness and is not very well armored when damage radiation emissions are low UDS best scientists were put in charge of analyzing the scans of the phasmid mothership's wormhole drive scientists made quick progress only a few months later a UDF wormhole drive was constructed for Athena station we're moving the whole station Athena Station is preparing to wormhole two coordinates recovered from the Task Force Alpha Comms Beacon. Set target coordinates. Charge wormhole drive. Engage. Not really sure on this one. Deep space. Wormhole travel successful. Welcome to deep space. Okay, guys. Well, we made it that all the way out here. We're in deep space now. Uh, hopefully, these people know what they're doing. Because honestly, if it was me and we just fought off an alien invasion like that I wouldn't send my only space station out in deep space to who knows what I think I'd be having you know some some other backup stuff or an invasion fleet I'd have something I'd have you know a handful of those cruisers maybe some bigger ships you know something something here a couple extra fighter squads I mean you know let's, let's bolster things but anyway here we are and that is going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all. For all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.